This is how you can create a text rainbow component using Vue and Tailwind CSS. So our starting point is a page with a black background and some text that is not visible yet. Let's start by styling the text. We'll go here and say class text white, text for Excel to make it bigger, font bold, leading normal, and let's say tracking white to add a bit of spacing between characters. Next, I want to make sure we get the hover effect right, and at least for now, we'll do it for the entire block of text. So let's say hover, text red, 400. And now if I hover the text, the color changes to red. But what I want is, I want the color to change quickly when we hover, and then when we go away, I want it to wait a little and only then slowly come back to its initial white color. To tackle the leaving part of the effect, we can do transition colors, and then duration, and I'll give it an arbitrary value, so we need square brackets, of 1000 milliseconds. So now when we hover, the color will change, but it will take one second to do so. But as I said, when I hover, I want the color to be changed immediately. So here we'll do hover, and then duration, zero milliseconds. Now when we hover, the color changes immediately, but when we go away, it takes one second to go back to normal. The only thing I want to add is that delay I was talking about. When we leave, I don't want the transition to start right away, so let's delay it a bit. Here we'll go ahead and say delay, let's say 500 milliseconds, but if we only leave it like this, when we hover, we'll also have that delay of 500 milliseconds. So what we need to do is say on hover, I want delay to be zero. So delay, zero milliseconds. And now the delay is only applied when we leave the text. And this concludes our hover effect. What we need to do next is apply it to individual characters in the string and do so while using different colors. The first thing we need to do is extract the text into a variable. So let's grab this, go here inside script setup, and let's say text equals, paste that in, and then here we'll do text. Now that we have a text variable holding the string, we can go here and say let chars equals, and then grab that text variable and split it into an array of strings. So what this will do is it will take this string and give us an array with all the characters in the string. So let's go ahead here and say Charles, save, and here's our array. We have H, A, L, L, O, and so on. Having access to this array of characters means we can use a V4 to loop through them and then display a span element that can be styled individually. So here we can do span, and then V4, char index in Charles, we'll set key equal to index, and then we'll display the character. And we're back to our initial text. But the difference now is that each character is an individual span element we can style. So let's go ahead and grab the effect related classes. So all these, go here and say class, and paste them in. If I refresh and hover over one letter, you'll see that the effect is applied individually. What we need to do now is make sure we use a different color for each letter. To do that, the first thing we need to do is define our hover colors. So we'll go here and say let colors equals array, and let's grab this one, paste it in, and we'll have orange 300, and then sky 300, rose 300, purple, and yellow. So these are the colors we'll be using. Now to be able to pick and use a hover style from the colors array, we'll need to turn our class attribute into a dynamic one. So this will also become an array. Then here we need to pick the corresponding hover color based on the current index. For that, we'll be using the modulus operator. So we'll do colors, and then index, modulus, which is this percentage sign, and then colors.length. 
What the modulus operator does is it returns the reminder of a division. So if I open the console, and let's imagine our first index is zero, and we're doing zero of colors.length, which would be five. So here zero modulus by five is zero, then we'll have one, one modulus by five is one, two is two, and so on until we reach five. Then we get back to zero. Six will be one, and then so on. So now if I close this and refresh, let's go from the start. We have orange, sky, rosé, purple, yellow, and then we're back to zero. Next up, let's extract this into a component we can reuse. So I'll go to components and create a new file called text rainbow dot view. We'll have script setup and template. Inside the template, we'll grab this v4, paste it in. And then for the script, we'll grab everything here, paste that in. We'll go back to our rainbow text view and import the new component. So import text rainbow from component slash text rainbow dot view and use it here, text rainbow. And it's still working. The first thing we need to do is to make sure we can pass the text as a prop. So here we'll define props, we'll do const props equals define props. We'll have text, which needs to be a string, so type string and is required. Let's grab the text and pass it as a prop. So we'll go here and say text equals and paste that in. Here we'll remove the text variable and use props.text. And we can even remove the chars variable and use this directly. Paste that in. We need to use single quotes here. Save, refresh. And here we go. Now what I want to do is have the first row to be in white. So the salutation will be in white. And then the rest of the text will be a dark gray. So I'll go here and duplicate this. Remove this part from the first text rainbow. And from the second, we'll remove this part and maybe add the BR tag in between. Okay, everything is still white. I'll grab this class and use it here. Save, refresh, and as you can see, it doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work is because our text rainbow doesn't have a root element. Here we have a v4 that creates many span elements, so we don't have a root, so Vue doesn't know where to apply the classes. What we can do is wrap this within another span element, and the class attribute will be added here. Let's save, and here it is. Let's go ahead and add another class here. We'll do class equals text zinc 400. And here's our darker grayish, let's say 500 maybe. And there we go. This is how you can create a text rainbow component using Vue and Tailwind CSS. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.